Hello everyone and welcome to a, a new video. In this video we are going to talk about the bioorthogonality of the left and right eigenvectors when a matrix is diagonalizable. So a matrix is diagonalizable when it has independent eigenvectors or when it has distinct eigenvalues. We know that uh, there are two types of eigenvectors which are the right and the left eigenvectors. So a right eigenvector is a column vector it's a column vector which satisfies this equation and the left eigenvector is a row vector which satisfies this equation now if we have a, a diagonalizable matrix it can be decomposed in terms of its eigenvector and eigenvalues so a equals x lambda x inverse where x is the matrix whose columns are the independent uh, right eigenvectors lambda is the diagonal matrix whose uh, diagonal elements or the entries are the eigenvalues and x inverse is just the inverse of the x uh, matrix right now let's uh, rewrite this equation over here so this is the same equation we can transpose uh, we can take transpose on both sides so after doing some general operations so we will end up with uh, this equation over here now what is the common thing between this equation and this equation here the x i was the right eigenvector so we can also see that y i is nothing but the right eigenvector of the a transpose so x i is the right eigenvector of the a and y i is the right eigenvector of the a transpose so what we can do is we can decompose the matrix a transpose in terms of the right eigenvectors and of course its eigenvalues right so a transpose is going to be equal to y lambda y inverse where y is the matrix whose columns are the independent right eigenvectors and lambda is the diagonal matrix with uh, diagonal entries as its eigenvalues right now one thing to remember is that if a matrix a is uh, diagonalizable then a transpose is also going to be diagonalizable because they share the same i eigenvalues okay now uh, let's try to find uh, the relation between this uh, x over here and this y over here so x contains what x contained uh, x1 until xn so x contain the right eigenvectors of the a matrix and y contained contains the right eigenvectors of the a transpose matrix okay so what we can do is let's try try taking a transpose of this equation on both sides so after taking some uh, so after taking the transpose and after doing some general operations we'll end up with this equation now what you can do is we can try comparing this and this so here we have decomposed the matrix a transpose in terms of y here we have decomposed a transpose in terms of the x so we can find some similarity from this and this we can say that this y is going to be equal to x inverse transpose and if we take transpose on both sides we will get y transpose equal to x inverse so the transpose of the y mat matrix is going to be equal to the x inverse this is a very important fact which will be used later on to to prove the fact that the eigenvectors are biorthogonal okay now for a second let's assume that the eigenvectors are biorthogonal so what happens if the eigenvectors are biorthogonal then the dot product where this was what the left eigenvector and xj was what it was the right eigenvector right this is the left eigenvector of the a matrix xj is the so this is the left and xj is the right eigenvector of the a matrix so if they were biorthogonal it is going to be the dot product is going to be equal to the Kronecker delta right so the Kronecker delta is equal to 1 when i is equal to j and it's equal to 0 when i is not equal to j uh, so if this is the case if 
the dot product is equal to the Kronecker delta, then what we can say is the Y transpose times the matrix X is going to be identity. Why is this the case? Let's see here. So here, this is the Y transpose matrix. This is the X matrix. So Y transpose matrix has the rows as the left eigenvectors, right? The rows of the Y trans transpose are the left eigenvectors and X has the columns as the left, as the right eigenvectors. So if this is true, then the matrix multiplication of of this and this must given give i right because this times this is going to be one this times this is going to be zero this times this is going to be zero similarly here and here it's going to be zero but here and here it's going to be one so in the diagonal entries we will have just one and in the off diagonal we'll have zeros which means the multiplication y transpose times x matrix is going to be identity matrix it's clear right and here I hope we derived an interesting fact that y transpose equal to x inverse so we can just replace y transpose with x inverse so now x inverse times x equals i and we know that of course an inverse times the original matrix is going to be I right so I equal to I which means our assumption that the eigenvectors are biorthogonal is true right now at the end uh, uh, here the Kronecker Delta function sa Delta says that the Delta I Z is going to be 1 when I is equal to Z right so uh, the fact that oh, sorry the fact that uh, y1 transpose x1 is equal to 1 is not always true sometimes or most of the times when we multiply a row vector times a column vector we will not end up with 1 but to make sure that we will end up with 1 we need to normalize our eigenvectors so if we normalize our eigenvectors then y transpose times x1 is going to be equal to 1 